Human psychology is a complex beast. Scientists are still trying to figure out exactly why we think the way that we do. But there is one thing that at this point science is very sure of. Our brains make a lot of mistakes. In fact, most of our decisions are made irrationally, under the influence of emotions and biases. These influences have become psychology facts that are well supported by current research. The book Seeking Wisdom, from Darwin to Munger, presents 28 of these psychology facts and how they cause our brains to make mistakes. Understanding them will help you to think more rationally and make better decisions. I will try to cover all of them in a three videos series. So let's dive in. Bias from association. We tend to associate our judgment about things with how they make us feel rather than their objective value. When you walk into a high-end jewelry store, you're surrounded by well-dressed salespeople, pleasant service, and oftentimes free alcohol. Those things are designed to make you feel good, which triggers your brain to associate the store with happy feelings, to buy more expensive jewelry. Yet the value of the jewelry has not changed at all. It's only the setting around it that arouses your feelings and raises the price you'd be willing to pay. Judge things based on their true value. Ask yourself, what is this really worth on its own? Following rewards and running from punishment. People are very susceptible to the influence of rewards. We will continuously repeat behaviors if we are rewarded for them, especially in the short term. A player will continuously play roulette at the casino if they keep on winning, even if prior wins were all about luck. On the other hand, we tend to avoid things that make us feel pain. Regular exercise is good for you in the long run but doesn't feel good at the present moment. So many people avoid it altogether. To decide if you should do something, look at the long-term value instead of the short-term rewards or punishment especially on the scale of months and years. Self-interest and incentives. The brain will justify anything if there is enough incentive to do so. People will lie if it means making more money or cheat if it means more pleasure. Your lawyer will often prefer that your case goes to trial since it means more guaranteed money for them. People at work will always say that their boss's idea is amazing, even if it's crap, to increase their chances of a future raise. Self-serving bias When dealing with anyone always ask yourself, what are their interests? What are their incentives for acting this way? People tend to overestimate their own abilities and their future outlook. We may go into a job interview thinking that we totally deserve the job and that the company is stupid for not hiring us. But there certainly could be one slightly better candidate for the job. Still, we think that our abilities should be favored due to this bias. Be confident in your abilities and do your best, while taking into account the facts of the real world to help you succeed. Self-deceiving and in denial. The brain will distort reality in order to reduce pain. If a person has certain beliefs about climate change, or not, they will fight to the bitter end to convince themselves it is true. They've already made the commitment, and wouldn't want to feel the pain of public humiliation by admitting that they were wrong. So they convince themselves that they are right and everyone else is stupid. We are all susceptible to self-deception as our long-term beliefs often become set in stone, leaving little room for learning new things. Regularly challenge your own beliefs and ideas to ensure that they still hold up. You can get help with this by spending time with people who have different beliefs and ideas than you. The tendency to remain consistent. We prefer to remain consistent with our past actions, even if those actions are not in line with our current best interests. People usually find it hard to make career changes because they subconsciously believe that they are now defined by it. Bob started out as an accountant, so now he's an accountant for life. He will pass on other better opportunities by convincing himself that he is an accountant. Your past is done and should not hold you back from improving your future. Make your decisions based on the benefit for you right now and in the future. Bias from Deprival 
We feel a strong desire for things that we like and have been taken away from us. We feel pain after a breakup, regardless of whether the relationship was good or not. It feels like we have lost something and the human brain hates losses more than anything. This often leads to quick and poorly chosen rebounds to mask the pain. A breakup might lead to a terribly chosen new partner. A job loss might lead to binge eating. It's a slippery slope. If you have recently lost something like a significant other or a job or anything else that used to bring you pleasure, focus on slowing down first. Don't take any action for at least 48 hours or more if you're still feeling emotional. Take the time to let your brain reset and come back once you're in a position to think rationally. The do-nothing disorder. If we can't come to a decision, we tend to just take the default option and do nothing. Our brain likes to minimize the effort to conserve energy. If you see a job that pays 5% more, your brain might end up ignoring it to avoid the effort of moving, even if that 5% can be quite large in the long run. People stay in mediocre relationships for this reason too, they figure it's just not worth the effort to move. Look at the long-term value of your actions. In the short term, a 5% difference in salary or quality of life doesn't look like much. But long term, it adds up big. Being impatient. The brain values current rewards more than future ones. It makes sense from an evolutionary point of view, as you and I could be dead next week. But it's certainly a well-understood concept that delayed gratification in work, finances, physical fitness, and every other category bears sweeter fruit. Long-term compound interest always brings the biggest rewards. As is becoming a theme in this video, long-term thinking is very powerful. Measure the value of your actions based on the long-term results. Envy and jealousy. This is the classic case of seeing someone who is more successful than us and thinking they just got lucky or they cheated. Life is competition. So when we see someone who is winning in that competition, we subconsciously envy them. Our brain doesn't like people who are doing better than us. We avoid working with them, saying nice things about them, and associating with them altogether. Rather than looking at others with negative envy, focus on your own self-improvement to achieve whatever success you want. Once you do, envy won't ever cross your mind since you're preoccupied with your own endeavors. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.